so yeah thank you for the slides thanks for joining today um if uh if you guys want to go ahead and get started i think that sounds great Uh, thank you, Armand. Yeah, now we can hear you. Uh, today, we are going to give the Kube Edge update for the tech runtime. So we did came here, we did come here for when we apply for incubation. And so now is the time we apply for graduation. So following the process, we are doing another update with the tag runtime. Okay. Um, so the Kubeage project has been here for a while. Currently, we has accumulated more than so uh, seven thousand stars, and more than two thousand forks on the GitHub, and we have more than fifteen hundred contributors, and more than three fifty code committers from eighty plus organizations. I will give a quick review for our project architecture in the following slides. Uh, so a quick ritual to our journey. So we present this one to the Kubernetes IoT Edge work group in 2018 September. Then we launched to open source, announced open source on 2018 November. And we announced it in the KubeCon Europe and we entered it sandbox since sandbox on the march 2019 um in september 2020 we successfully become a incubation project in cncf uh, now we are applying for a graduation uh, we have been that in that process so we are currently applying for graduation 2024. Uh, in this slide, we have two link. One is our due diligence document. It's currently reviewed by the TSC member from CNCF. And the second link is our self-assessment documentation. Please let me know if you have any access or sharing problem to access doc. Now we quickly update our architecture. So for our project, our goal is trying to seamlessly connect cloud and edge coordination to achieve edge autonomy. Low resource readiness on the edge side, and we want to simplify device communication in the meantime, using an open community, build an open ecosystem. So the main technique, uh, one is the cloud edge communication. We set up a web socket connection between cloud and edge. In the device edge autonomy, we basically have a, our, our edge core to handle the communication between cloud and edge and try to control the life cycle of the edge themselves to try to manage the resource, manage the communication between the device and the edge node to achieve edge autonomy. Uh, in the following slides, we will go a little bit deeper to see we set up a few six uh, special interest group to focus on individual 
part of this architecture. First is uh, we have the SIG device IoT. So this one, this group is focusing on set up the edge device management. So we have our device manager using device twin to mapping all the physical device to a data as a service in our edge things. So to achieve the control the IoT devices, so you can log in from your cloud, from cloud dashboard, you can access and control your device connected to the edge node. So this group is, is focusing on the services to control <clears throat> the IoT services to build a device as a services. Currently is implement is evolving. It has been implemented since 1.2 Kubernetes, uh, 1 about 12 Kubernetes. We build a model bus mapper based on the DMI framework. So uh, we already support a few many uh, data connections. Now we are working in progress to support Bluetooth data port mapper based on the new DMI framework. The second group I want to mention is a node group. Basically, we want to control the uh, node <coughs> lifecycle. This is focusing the node edge node lifecycle management. And <coughs> this one is uh, started from very beginning the Kube Edge project that we just spin off the special group uh, a, a few years ago, <coughs> try to more focus on control the life cycle for each edge node and also communications between cloud and edge. And currently we support, our, uh, we use the uh, <coughs> CRI to support run C, Kata, run V, <coughs> or can container D, all kind of a uh, container engine. Next one, we focusing on the uh, networking. It's called uh, SIG networking. The main project in this group is Edge Mesh. Basically is trying to create a serverless design of the network control on, <clears throat> on the Cloud Edge networking tunneling. Uh, it's more complicated than the uh, just simple web socket. So we have a built-in edge local DNS resolution uh, for the communication between edge and the cloud. We do the consistent service discovery and the access can uh, experience. Uh, currently we support level four and the level seven traffic management. <coughs> It can support multiple edge and cross subnet communication. Uh, this project has been presented on the Kubercon a couple of times already. Uh, currently working progress is to support the standard EC2 service for service governance. Uh, another C group is for the AI focus. Uh, this uh, have a focusing on the Edge cloud synergy. Not only we talking about the distributed learning, we talk about, we name it as collaborated learning. That means uh, not only each node will learn themselves, but we try to set up a communication between edge and make them work together. So multiple edge can do the learning and the inference together. So we integrate it with Prometheus and Minus Pro and Model Box. <coughs> uh, we compatible, this, this project already compatible with main 
stream in my work work stream with TensorFlow, PyTorch, uh, Petapeto is from Baidu, Mansco from <clears throat> is another open source project. Uh, think security. <clears throat> this one is try to secure our project and also uh, satisfy all the compliance requirement. So we <clears throat> achieve as the first uh, CNCI project reaching the L4 of supply chain <clears throat> level and the so software archi artifacts. So this is the supply chain security. That's the full audit report as you can follow the link. And also we integrating with the fuzzing. <clears throat> uh, so it's improving. Uh, we are the very first CSI project achieve this integration. And also here is the report. <clears throat> we have the third party help us to do this threads modeling and secure protection analysis. Here is a full report published for CNCF. <clears throat> Here is the oversee our policy and the vulnerability management workflow. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can follow the link. SIG uh, Robotics is a, more than the IoT SIG. It's a con <clears throat> it's try to achieve out of box robot control. So it's a little bit more complicated to control a simple device, but it control a more complicated device as a robot. So this project has been adopted by the industry. Here are some examples of our adoption. Uh, we have uh, intelligent transitions with some um, highway ET system deployed on ET system on the public bridge control, uh, real in the on the energy side, uh, some offshore oil field <coughs> platform already deployed up. Kubeh for intelligence, we have some smart factory implementation. Uh, CDN does the Equipage deploy on the uh, CDN side. Uh, vehicle and the, the another in, another example is we deploy Equipage on the vendor deploy on the uh, satellite. It was presented in KubeCon 2021, I believe. <coughs> and some a lot of uh, LT adoptions. Uh, here is the mention. <clears throat> this one was presented on Kubecon 20, 2021 EU 2022 EU. I forget. <clears throat> yep. Uh, so that's a typical remote edge case. The edge resources are very limited. So we uh, took edge successfully deploy and support this uh, user case. Oh, is uh, reduce the communication between the cloud and edge, and also uh, collaborated on the uh, AI inference to support the user case. This is the mention is about offshore oil field. There's also another typical <coughs> remote edge situation. We want to reduce the communication between edge and the cloud and also achieve edge autonomy. Here is the smart <coughs> car uh, user case. So it's deployed on the vehicles to control a lot of uh, vehicle IoT devices. <coughs> this one achieve more than 100,000 vehicle per cluster, and the meaning of the device is the control per cluster. 
with this, it's compatible with the CNCF Edge computer framework, very stable and also achieve edge autonomy. This is the HCDN. Uh, this is the CDN case I mentioned. So this is a large edge case. So in the CDN edge node, they have more communication, uh, more resource to consume. <clears throat> but it is uh, help the, mm -hmm. our vendor to achieve a load balancing and high ability. It's it's a different from remote edge. It's a more like a CDN edge node case. For our uh, community, I mentioned we currently have uh, the, the SIG we already presented. Currently, we have 11 SIGs. We have also one working group, is a wireless <coughs> working group. And we set up our TSC. We have our uh, bi weekly TSC meeting to discuss all the uh, community issues and to do the uh, leadership management and lives <coughs> supervise all the six. Here is a landscape our vendor who adopt our project. Here is another oversight of our structure in the end of the view. Uh, so here is our GitHub link and all the stack channels. If you have, have questions, you can feel free to ping this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, let me go back and quickly show you guys the Here is our due diligence code. So currently reviewed by the CNCF TSA member right now. Uh, here is our self-assessment for applying for the graduation. So please come and make your comments if you have questions. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for the, for going through the presentation. Um, I know for, for me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking through the, the diligence doc as well. Um, I'm curious for, for the, all the SIGs you mentioned, is there, is there like a, it seems like a, like you're doing a lot of things. Um, do you, do you have like a, a you know, any, conflicting priorities or you know is there there's clearly an, uh, a lot of uh, interest and in, and work with the, with the sigs and do you have you know everyone working on on all that those different areas is there is there enough resources for you really um, yeah, this is the open community right so yeah uh, as a TSC members so we supervise we group the people by the special interest to help them to build the mm -hmm the interest group, the six, they will run that independently. I mean, not independently. I mean, they, they run it independently, but with our civil region to help to expand the project, our project. And uh, we do have, go to the six. So for, all these groups, they have their own charters. Mm -hmm. So for each SIG, we have a own charter Slack channel. We supervise them to build the overall health of the project. We don't... In... <clears throat> so this all the Slack channel leadership. We help them supervise to build the TLs, and the SIG chair to help them to grow, supervise them following all our governance and the code of conduct, make sure it's contribute to the overall health and growth of the project. 
but not everyone working on old projects. I think it's they have their focus related sure. to their user case. Sure. Okay. So so really the the SIGs were formed out of interest from those those community members. Yeah. And and you, you can you provide um help and guidance and kind of uh tracking their um you know standards and and so forth um but it's really sigs i guess sigs may come and go over time as well based on on interest uh i suppose uh yes so Question, so go ahead Sorry. Uh, yeah, so my question was, uh, how how was uh, the project changed from the time that, that it went into incubation? So I think that uh, I think you might have gone through some of that, but I'm just curious to to see um, some of the changes from incubation. Yeah. Uh, from incubation in twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. And in, in, in terms of um, adopters, do you have a, something that shows the number of adopters uh, in terms of change uh, from incubation? Uh, incubation 2020, I think I have the, uh, the adopter landscape from 20. Let me give you quickly. Uh, that's 2021. So there's 2021 adopters. Mm -hmm. And that's, a, that's already quite a bit, right? But yeah, yep. I'm kind of curious like, uh, more. How, how much the, yeah, okay, I see. This is the new one. Um, maybe I can show you our GitHub history. We have a yeah, document. that maybe. Well, that it might be in the due diligence document too. So yeah, yeah, okay. And also, there are a few uh, adopters. They they do their case studies. Yeah. Yet yeah, they they are not open to put their name here because some liability issues or so I'm negotiating to see if they can publish their user case. <clears throat> the yeah. uh, TSC member is interviewing all the doctors. I mean CNCF TSC members. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you. I have a similar question, but regarding uh, maintainers, how did that change over time? Uh, yes, uh, we have some maintainer. So the Kearney and a few maintainer uh, because their job things they are retiring from the maintainer and also this only the main project for our sub we have a couple of sub projects this is for the networking uh, so and 
this is our AI sub project. So they are have their <clears throat> is supervised by our TSC as well. So here is the maintainer list. Was there a main vein vendor at the beginning behind the project or what's the history like? Uh, I think is the uh, two companies started uh, sponsor this first. Is uh, this Huawei and uh, the edge mesh sphere. So when we first started, there will be the Harmony Cloud, Coposphere, Huawei, then uh, and ARM was uh, one of the biggest contributors. And now the Dow Cloud is uh, one of the main contribution. We have our, uh, let me find, we, we should have a contribution from different companies. The pie chart, you can see it's very, should be with, let me see if we can find that one. The contributors you can see from the commit. We do have a contributors. So you can see this from it's from Cosphere. So, I got, um, uh, Fei, who is, Zhang Jie is from the lab, right? The, uh, this, uh, Zhejiang University lab, right? Yeah, uh, Zhang Jie is from, um, China Unicom. <laughs> oh, China Unicom. Yes. This from Intel. Yeah, Dai Xiang is from Intel. <laughs> So uh, I remember we have a contribution, say how much from each companies. I don't remember. Mm. Yes, we have a lot of contributors uh, from different companies. Yeah. Yeah, I mm. remember. I have, we, we, we do have an analysis that's about 30%, uh, it's 40% from Huawei. Uh, Cubosphere, it's changing, right? It's Cubosphere from used to be 20% uh, arm when when the arm people in Shanghai, he contributed a lot, right? Yeah. Mm, I, uh, I have another question. So many, um, I wonder how the documentation uh, contribution is, uh, is working for you. You know, like I think uh, what we see is mostly the technical contribution. And uh, there is also a lot of work for documentation, right? So just, uh, yeah, it's, it's an open question. How does that work for you? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Well, I uh, just wonder how you keep up with the documentation for the project, like, because what we see here, what we saw on uh, GitHub is mostly the technical uh, com contribution. But there's also technical write-up, right, that needed to support such a project. Uh, it, it's open. Uh, that that's the TSC members. We try to get some fund and to keep up on this. The uh, basically t keep this uh, uh, keep the project live and expanding. Uh, first we uh, one thing we approach our wonders. Uh, to convince them to not only use the project, but also contribute and support project. That's why we are expanding our user case. And also uh, one lesson was successful was when a few of our vendors uh, have a successful product they build based on Kubeage, they are more happy to support us and help us to grow. 
So I, I think the final thing is uh, build the developer community, help them to persuade that they are one their employers to adopt to the project and help to contribute back to the project. That's one of the reason this project is, is successful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else got questions? Uh, I I am I'm curious on the um back to the to the SIG again. Is is it important to you that the SIGs also maintain um membership across companies there as well? And is that something that you track contributors to the the SIGs itself, the individuals? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, the SIG is more the contributors that belong to different vendors. They mm. focus on different SIG. Uh, for example, uh, the Cube Sphere is more like focused on the IoT Edge. It's it's related to their product and their uh, offering for the market. And also, China Telecom is more focusing on the CD inside, so they have different focus. So they have a different participation rate on different SIG. They may focusing on some, they may heavily contribute to some SIG, but they may not touch other SIGs at all. Sure. Okay. Um, and I think you mentioned early on, you know, around kind of um, supporting different CRIs, uh, uh, you know, container D, cryo, et cetera. Are, do you have a do you have a commitment to try to be vendor neutral in, in a sense, like even with vendors contributing to specific SIGs to try to like you have multi, you know, multi-cloud, multi-edge, that kind of thing, but committing from a technology perspective for like in the runtime category and so forth to to be committed to uh to being neutral there if possible. Uh yes, that's our goal to be a, a mother cloud and vendor neutral. So that's the, our uh, SIG and the TSC is uh, supervising. So it won't be uh, controlled by a single mm -hmm. computers. How, how do you review something like that internally? Uh, oh, we have the uh, TSC meetings. We make this big decisions. It's definitely reviewed by TSC member mm -hmm. to have governance to make sure it's follow our principles. Cool. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I have you a have related question. Do you have a like a written statement or, or do you just point to the CNCF statement on neutrality and vendor neutral neutralness? I was yeah, so to speak. Uh, Faye, do we have, I remember we mentioned, did we in our TSC charter, we mentioned this? Uh, yes, we, we have uh, we have the uh, TSC charter in the uh, community repo. Uh, in the main repo? Uh, community, community repo. Uh, the TSC uh, chatter. Uh, uh, the second one. Yeah, 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 this one. So we supervise, I remember we have some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mentioned that it's a. Uh... Yeah, it looks it, it looks pretty extensive. I mean, you have a kind of structure like Kubernetes in a way. Yeah, there's uh help. Thank you, the help from CNCF, uh, 
communities, uh, we do communicate with PSV. Since that PSV helped us, they help us to build and maintain this uh, structure to help the healthy of the project and the growth of the project. Um, I was having a look at the documentation and I saw a lot of uh, placeholders there. How do you um, make sure that it would be later um, content added there? Uh, which one? I'm sorry. So I went to the website and uh, looked at the documentation. Let me check which version. Oh, you mean this website or the GitHub website? Uh, no, I was looking at the, at the, oh, but sorry, I was looking at the old release. So I was checking. Yeah, it might have been that I just looked at the old version. Sorry. No, but still, like, if I go to the website itself, not to GitHub, and then to documentation and advanced configuration, there's there some placeholder. So, um, core concept or, you know, so, I see it along a couple of versions already. So if you go to core concepts, navigate there. Yeah, this so is from SIG. So we are working with the SIG to add this. Uh, Faye, do you want to add? Uh, no, no, we uh, do some uh, restruct of the uh, document. So we will, uh, I think we will add, uh, add them later uh, for the a placeholder in the uh, document. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but first I was viewing version 12 and then also so some of that also later on. So I just wonder if you have processes around that or something to ensure that um, it's easy for new users to to ramp up. Uh, yeah, uh, in the website repo, uh, we have issue to check, uh, check this uh, task list. Yeah. Now we are doing uh, the improvement uh, for the document, yeah. Yeah, in, uh, in the website uh, repo. Yeah, it's run by the community. It's a few with code. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, uh, for the start project like HMESH, uh, uh, before they have their own documentation, uh, now we want to uh, add them to the cabbage the i o uh, in future yeah we, we are uh, doing uh, like this uh, improvements yeah all right thanks Adele, don't mean to pick on you but do you have any questions <laughs> sorry are you did you ask me something <laughs> i'm asking whether you have any questions uh, no, I think I think it's uh, it's great uh, that we're asking these questions. Um, for me, I I know Cubedge for quite some time. Uh, it's an interesting project in an interesting area. It solves a lot of problems. Um, and so, you know, as far as I can see, there's a, there's a, there's a healthy contributor base. But yeah, um, nothing in, on my side. Thank you. Uh, so what's what's the next step uh, here? Is this uh, there's the DD document? Do does is there a place for Attack Runtime to provide a recommendation or? Uh, uh, the... let, let me think of it as uh, Kathy. Uh, she is the main sponsor from TSC. So, uh, they, yeah. uh, I mean Kathy and Lin, they uh, direct us say, okay, we need another round of a tag review so yeah let me contact them to see if they uh, need something but feel free to comment on our dd doc if you have any questions or suggestions 
Sounds good. Yep. Thank yeah, you. she's on vacation now. I think for next week or two weeks. So it might take yeah, a little that, while to get her um, back. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Yep. All right. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for for meeting and answering our, all of our questions today. Thank you. I will leave the time for the rest of the agenda. I think our agenda is uh, otherwise unavailable, which is fine. <laughs> which is good for the timing, right? So it was lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I I think we need a need a whole slot for uh, for these types of presentations for sure next time. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. to Q, thanks to Qbedge. Appreciate it. Thank you take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.